Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Boost libraries. And Boost is how you can get it uh, C++ working with Python, or you can implement serialization, you can use like tuples, and a lot of really uh, interesting features. So it took me a while to get Boost actually working with Xcode. This is Xcode 6, I believe. And it's always because there is some sort of error happening. So I actually figured out how to do it, and I'm going to have a little walkthrough on what exactly I did. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your terminal. So just type terminal up here in this magnifying glass, and then this will pop up. And I'll be leaving this code in the description, so that's you can just get it off that. But you'll want to type Xcode select install. And what this is going to do is it's going to install the um, Xcode command line tools. And I guess they're just sort of a little thing that allows you to install things um, properly. Uh, so once you have that installed, and I'm not sure how long it'll take, maybe it'll take a while, uh, you'll want to go sudo port install boost. And this one might take a while too, but it's going to actually um, install uh boost off of the internet and uh, so once you have that installed and it might take a little while you're going to want to go to your um, little finder here click on documents it has to be documents because you can't go back uh, with what we're doing unless you click on documents uh, then I want you to press command shift H and uh, it's all in order command shift H and keep pressing it until you go to your root user folder. Click on Macintosh HD or whatever your user's name is. Then click on user. And then you should have uh, the Boost library installed in this directory here. So just open your Xcode project that you want to be using. And uh, it could just be a standard C++ or in this case I was using SFML. But uh, the first thing that we want to do is you want to click on the little project here and then you want to go to build settings and then find the heading that says search paths you'll then see header search paths and you want to click on this and click this little plus and then add slash user slash local slash include slash and then you're going to want to do the same thing for the library search paths but instead of slash include we're going to be using slash user slash local slash lib slash so make sure you get those two paths set for your project and then what we want to do is we want to go and find the die libs and so we'll find that under um, your Macintosh HD or whatever your username is user and then I believe, so those are the header files under include. And lib has your die libs. So let's say you wanted serialization. I believe this is the right one to look under. Okay, well, let's just do an example using Python. If you wanted to have Python working with your project, so you could use C++ and Python, you would just take these. Um, dilib files and you could create a copy of them if you're going to be using them a whole lot and then um, sort of just drag the duplicate onto your desktop so it's always ready or in some file and you want to literally drag these files into your project right here so you can see that they're at the right position for serialization right here just make sure it's at the right spot or it might not work and then because you've done these two things and you've added the die libs you can go to build phases and just check that under link binary with libraries that you have those die libs automatically added because just dragging into your project should add them and then uh, just go to the boost website and you can find an example for whatever um, whatever library you're using with boost so in this case I was I used a lot of include, so I would use uh, hashtag include uh, boost archive tempter. I was just using all the stuff from their examples, and I got uh, serialization to work, basic serialization. 
So that's how you do that. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, please subscribe and like the video if you learn anything. Thanks for watching.